Joe, we knew these would be ugly numbers, not only in terms of what's happened with the 737 MAX, but just also in terms of analysts are all over the map in terms of expectations. For the second quarter, Boeing reporting a loss of $5.82 a share. That is well below what analysts uh, have as a consensus of earning $1.87. But remember, there are some analysts who have factored in the full impact of the MAX, some who have not. In terms of revenue, $15.75 billion. That is well below the consensus of $18.55 billion. Free cash flow, negative $1 billion. The consensus was for negative $2 billion, so that came in a little better than expected. The three divisions, commercial, losing $4.95 billion. No surprise, since they had no deliveries of the MAX, and that's really the bread and butter where you bring in the revenue. Defense earned $975 million. Services earned $687 million, with both of those divisions posting profit margins of greater than 14%. Remember, Boeing reported, a, it would, announced last week it would report a $4.9 billion charge due to the MAX. So it ends the second quarter with $9.6 billion in cash on hand, but $19.2 billion in debt. That's an increase compared to the end of the first quarter. Remember, they took out uh, debt in April, so that's why you see the increase here. One important note here in terms of the uh, commercial airplane program. The 777X, originally scheduled for first flight this year, they've been having some engine issues. Well, now they are saying first flight of the 777X will not happen until next year, and they are still targeting delivery in 2020, though it will be late 2020.